All right, guys, this is Black and Brown Boxing. So today I want to talk about the young phenom, the young star, Virgil Ortiz. All right. Um, I've given a lot of a lot of uh, credit and a lot of uh, time to uh, the 135, the 135ers. I love them dudes. You guys know about that. Shakur Stevenson, Devin Haney, uh, um, Ryan Garcia, Tia Fimo. I love them dudes. You guys know that I love them. But <clears throat> this, this this young man right here deserves his own video. All by himself, Virgil Ortiz, guys. Um, most of you guys watching this video probably already know about Virgil Ortiz. If you don't know about Virgil Ortiz, go check him out, man. Go look him up. If you do know about Vir Virgil Ortiz and you're sleeping on him, hey, man, wake up. Wake up, baby, because Virgil Ortiz is, is, is a young beast. Virgil Ortiz is coming. Whether, whether we like it or not, Virgil Ortiz is coming. And he's coming for, the, uh, for these welterweights, man. He's coming for these welterweights, man, and, and I love it. I love it. I love everything about Virgil Ortiz. I love his fighting style. I love his uh, demeanor, um, his uh, ring presence. I love it all, man. His style of fighting, I love it. I love everything about Virgil Ortiz. One thing I love the most is that he has his dad right in his corner, and I love that about these young guys. Uh, guys, I love it. I, I love it, guys. I love to see the, uh, the parents. I love to see the presence um, of the parents and of the fathers in these, not only not only there for their kids, but in their corners with their kids, helping their kids through all all these difficult times, all these these confusing times, all these times of chaos. You know, they're, they're right there with their boys, man, helping them through it, and I love it. And you can almost you can almost see it. You can almost see it in these young in these young men that that they are they still have their the presence of their parents there with them. So because they're really good young men. You know, really good, respectful young men, all of them, all of them. They're all good kids, really, really good young men. And um, and let me just address that really quick. That goes with Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia and Virgil Ortiz is they have their parents in their corner and, and it, it helps them so much. It's a huge help for them. So you can kind of see it in them, the way they hold themselves, the way they conduct themselves, you know, and that's why I'm, I'm so confident in these kids. That's why I'm so I have so much so much faith in these kids that they can take the sport to the next level. They can carry the sport into the next decade. And um and our I feel like our our sport I feel like our sport is in good hands. Is in really good hands. With when I look at these young kids being guided by their parents, you know. So it makes me feel really good about the sport. Um yeah, guys, Virgil Ortiz, man, he fights March 28th. Um He's not fighting the highest level of competition. I'm okay with it. I have no issue with it. I'm still going to go pay to see the fight. I'm going to be at the fight. Um, I have no problems with who he's fighting. I know other people I've heard a little bit of criticism. And, hey, to each his own, myself, when they're 21, I've said this in prior videos, when they're 21, I'm not really judging who they're fighting. I'm just judging on their development. I love to see the development from fight to fight. From a 20-year-old to a 21-year-old to a 22-year-old to a 23-year-old. Okay, now he's 23. Now he's ready to start chasing these titles. Um, when they're 21, 22, uh, I, I'm still just watching them develop. So I'm not. I don't really care too much about who they fight. But hey, I understand the guys that want to see more. That want to see, want to see him fight better competition. Because I'm the same way. I, once I love a fighter, I want to see more. I'm not satisfied. I want more. I want more. So I understand. I just look at it from a different perspective of appreciating uh, the baby that we're looking at, appreciating the fact that we're being able to watch them fight at such a young age. Because in the past, we've never had nothing like this in the past. We've never had a group of kids just invade the boxing scene like we have right now. Or at least not since I can remember have we had such a young, talented group of young men just burst onto the scene. And uh, that's what has boxing so exciting right now, guys, is these young kids. Is these young kids. Because these older guys, you guys notice, these older guys, all of them, they're all ducking each other and they're all taking the easy roads. And it seems like they're all just milking the game. But that's a whole different video. We're not going to get into that. To stay on Virgil Ortiz, he fights March 28th. Um, on the undercard, Rashidi Ellis is on the undercard. And I love it. I love that they put Rashidi Ellis on the undercard. The, the same way they put Jorge Linares on the undercard of the Ryan Garcia fight, I love what they're doing. It's it's just it's so entertaining. 
We're going to have a great night of fights. Rashidi Ellis is going to fight, and then Virgil Ortiz is going to fight, and then them two will fight sometime in June or something. Who knows when? But the lead-up is so exciting. Um, I can't wait to be there, guys. I can't wait to see this. this. This whole night, I just can't wait. I can't freaking wait, man. So, um, yeah, guys. And real quick, on the way out, man, bold, bold predictions right now on this computer screen with, with Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz is my guy. Okay, guys? Devin Haney is my guy. I'm predicting right now Virgil Ortiz will be better than Canelo Alvarez one day. When Virgil Ortiz is 30 years old, Virgil Ortiz will be better and further along in his career than Canelo Alvarez. And that's huge to say because Canelo Alvarez has gotten pretty damn far in his career. But that's how much faith I have in Virgil Ortiz. I'm, I'm going to say the same thing about Devin Haney. Devin Haney will be bigger and better in his career when he's 30 than Earl Spence and, and Terrence Crawford than they are right now. And, and when he is 30, they'll be long gone, or they should be. And if he's if they're not, he will take them out. Same with Virgil Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz will take them out before they're done. Or they will move on and they'll never they'll never face Virgil Ortiz. One of the two. But Virgil Ortiz will take out Earl Spence. Will take out Terrence Crawford one day. I don't know when, but he will take them out. Either he'll replace them because they'll move on, or he will take them out in the ring if they ever put them in the ring. But the way the times are lining up, them guys will be older, and Virgil Ortiz will be 25, 26, and they will never get in the ring with Virgil Ortiz. With a 26-year-old Virgil Ortiz, it will never happen. So either way, Virgil Ortiz is going to replace them, and Devin Haney is going to replace them one day, and they will both be better than the – the, the three best middle welterweights we have right now is Canelo Alvarez. We have Virgil, we have um, uh, Earl Spence, and we have Terrence Crawford. Okay, two best uh, uh, welterweights, best middleweight in that area. Those are the biggest names we got in boxing. Devin Haney will surpass those names. Uh, Virgil Ortiz will surpass those names. So that's my bold prediction at the end of this video. All the marbles, I'm betting the house on Virgil Ortiz. Guys, if you don't know about Virgil Ortiz, go check him out. He fights March 28th, guys. March 28th in Anaheim. Uh, no, not Anaheim. Sorry, guys. In Inglewood. He fights in Inglewood, March 28th. Um, look out for him. If you do know about Virgil Ortiz and you're sleeping on him, wake up, man. Wake up. All right, I'm out.